Hello everybody, today we're doing a review over the AULA or ALA Ghost Shark White Edition from Amazon. Pick it up for $12.99. It comes with a mouse and a mouse pad. As you can see the packaging is the cardboard. Mostly everything's in Chinese other than the back says the voltage it needs, how much it weighs, and the length of it. So other than that, let's get right into it. Alright, so what it comes with is the mouse, which comes in this nice white sleeve that I took out. And then the mouse pad, which comes in a plastic wrapping. All right, so right with the mouse. It's quite a big mouse, ambidextrous. Uh, there's seven buttons total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the DPI changing setting. Every time you press it, there's four different DPI settings ranging from anywhere from 1,000 to 2,500. Each different setting will give off a different color on this button to show what setting you're on. The forward and back button, there's another button right here that's programmable. All right, and for the colors of the mouse, there's seven other seven different breathing colors you can add. You can actually not change uh, if you just want one of them. It has to be breathing, but what do you expect with a $13 mouse? So, anyways, um, clicking is quite nice. Sounds quite nice. Nice optical sensor. USB is short, not braided or anything. Just the same silver color as the mouse itself. The mouse it feels very cheap actually. Uh, the nice glossy finish though. But on the sides, like I don't really like this part where it has a finger rest. Like ideally, it'd be nice, but on this mouse, it just doesn't feel right. Like not in exact positions that I like. All uh, these buttons aren't very accessible as I usually like them to be where my thumb is usually resting, like right here. But other than that, it's quite a nice mouse. All right, going over to the mouse pad. Um, 11 inches. I'm pretty sure it is. It's very thin. I think it's an eighth uh, thick. Anyways, um, it's very smooth. I wouldn't probably use it ideally for gaming, just the fact that it, you can just tell that's really cheap with the plastic, but it's quite smooth, and if you don't really have a nice mouse pad, you can use this, no problem. Alright, let's get right into how the mouse actually is. Let me go plug it in. Alright, so here's the mouse after it's all plugged in and ready to go. There's no actually additional software to use, so you just gotta plug it in and it will go. Actually quite fun, funny, uh, the bottom is also all in Chinese. Uh, so it's quite funny. Um, on the bottom has an optical sensor, which is ideal for gaming. Uh, on the exterior, you can see seven different rotating colors of the mouse, ranging anywhere from blue, red, green, purple, pink, and white. Quite nice and quite vibrant, especially when it's dark out. As you can see, the four DPI switches, you press it once and you can see which DPI you're at. It's quite nice. Um, moves quite nicely. On this mouse pad, actually, it's not very good, but moves quite nicely in any games. Try it out a little bit. I recommend it if you have big hands. You don't really have a nice mouse. You just want to try one out for 12 bucks or 13 bucks. All right, so overall for this mouse and mouse pad, I am going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 based on the fact that's only $13. And it comes with some nice seven color LEDs. And it's quite nice for big hands, a nice optical sensor. Nice seven buttons, and it comes with a free mouse pad too for $13. So if you have big uh, hands, I highly recommend this for you. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Everyone have a nice day. Thank you for watching, and bye. See you in the next video.